uh, yung Dole Aka po, uh, as it was explained to us, it is a financial assistance for displaced OFWs uh, due to COVID-19. Now, working hand in hand with uh, the Philippine Embassy and Dole and the Polo is the Overseas Workers Welfare Association, uh, better known as OWA. With us tonight po is our welfare officer, Josephine Tobaya, who will explain to us this uh, the OWA financial assistance for those uh, OFWs who tested positive for COVID-19. Thank you for joining us, um, Welfare Officer Josephine. Yes, uh, good evening, good afternoon, and good morning again. Um, thank you for inviting us. Um, this financial assistance for OFW members are for those OFWs who are were infected by the COVID-19 um, and this particular financial assistance is for their aftercare needs and other medical requirements with regards to their COVID, no? And uh, <clears throat> OWA members, active or inactive, are the ones who can avail of this program. So uh, it's a requirement that they are uh, OWA members. Uh, yes, active, this is uh, for yeah, this is for active and inactive OWA members. Okay, so uh, welfare officer Josephine, let's say um, an OFW tested positive um, for COVID nineteen. Who can apply for him or her? Uh, let's say he's not able because of the situation. Can a family member apply for the patient? Okay. Um, <clears throat> Yes, uh, a, a, a family member can apply for the worker. However, if the worker is still in the post, let's say in, uh, in America, uh, we will have to wait until the, the, the worker is sent home because this will uh, require uh, a medical certificate from the hospital. You know? uh, so... <clears throat> Even if the uh, relative would apply for the medical uh, for the financial assistance regarding mm -hmm. this COVID, um, this will require some documents from the worker uh, himself yes. or herself. Yes, I specify, but it's for aftercare, correct? Yes, it's for mm -hmm. aftercare. Okay. In so fact, the mga uh -huh. yeah, ibang nakauwi na workers natin na hindi natin nabigyan, we will have mm -hmm. to. We have endorsed them to the uh, Overseas Workers Welfare Administration para okay. ma-process yung kanilang um, financial assistance for this. Okay. Uh, what are the guidelines and the re or the requirements if one wants the requirements, to... The requirements, uh, yeah, the requirements <clears throat> is that they should be OWA members, whether okay. active or inactive, mm -hmm. and they should... Uh, uh, the basic, no? They should produce their uh, copies of their passport okay. and... Uh, a medical certificate mm -hmm. and the uh, work permit okay. because we have a database naman sa OWA so we would know kung sino yung uh, OWA members right away okay so let's say po uh, na approve yung kanilang application uh, sa dole mm -hmm. aka po ang uh, amount na ibibigay ay 200 per approved applicant uh, how much naman po yung sa OWA assistance for aftercare 200 dollars din and one the same time amount, so one okay. time then. No? One time, okay. Uh, although, OWA, mm -hmm. although OWA has other programs extended oh. to uh, its members, okay. uh, even after this uh, uh, right. program, this particular program, they can still avail of other programs. Okay. Um, there's a question here, Paul. Um, if a displaced OFW who avails of the Dole ACAP assistance. Also tested for positive. Uh, also tested positive for COVID nineteen. Uh, will he or she be eligible also to apply for the OWA assistance? Let's say, is, are these uh, two separate um, um, assistance that in, uh, that could be applied? To? Let's say they fall in both categories and are eligible. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> what I know is that uh, they will only have to receive the financial assistance from OWA. The okay. aftercare, yeah. Okay. Financial okay. um, assistance. Ms. Josephine, how long does processing take uh, if, if one applies? How long will yeah. it take? Yeah, the process cycle would uh, be the same as the one of ACAP, no? That's uh, mm -hmm. 7 to 10 days. Um, okay. 
Mm -hmm. And then let's say in approved na uh, when how do they receive the the two hundred dollar assistance? Okay, because uh, if uh, they apply through the OWA regional offices, no, because mm -hmm. this. Uh, uh, financial assistance naman can be actually uh, given to them when they uh, are uh, when they are sent home, no? Uh, and this will be processed by the regional office in Manila, in the Philippines, I should say. So we have 17 regions there. That depends kung saan sila kung saan nila ko collect yan. But uh, the regional office will issue them uh, check for this uh, medical assistance or financial assistance for the medical needs. Okay. Ms. Josephine, there's a question here from Brian Bautista in Riyadh. Sabi niya, what if a dependent of an OFW gets infected, can the OFW file for assistance as well for a dependent? Uh, ang programa pong ito ay para sa mga OFWs lamang. So, hindi po natin sakop yung family ng ating OFW. Although, okay, sabi nga natin sa OWA, may mga programa na available sa OFWs and their families. So, they can check it out with the uh, website ng OWA, owa.gov.ph. Nandun po yung mga programa for the OFWs and their families. Okay, thank you po. Salamat po uh, uh, for clarifying that. And also, 